Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's pick a card reading is who is coming into my life and what are their intentions? We have three piles. Pile number one is represented by a piece of jade. Pile number two is represented by a gypsum rosette. And pile number three is represented by a piece of onyx. Go ahead and choose the pile that is um, calling to you. And while you do that, I'm going to take a moment to do a couple of things. One is the whole like, comment, subscribe thing. The other is I want to mom you for a second. Um, it's scary out there. And I care about you guys. I may not know you all. A lot, most of you don't comment. Don't, you know, try to interact. But I care. Because seeing you there when I get up in the morning it makes me feel happy um, to know that there are people who want to watch what I have to put out it makes me happy and I'm very grateful to you and um, so to the whole wash your hands thing don't touch your face and also make sure that you clean the areas in your house that you touch the most um, railings microwave handles stove knobs door handles light switches remote controls your cell phone um, things that you and other people in your house touch a lot that you don't generally do it um, like I said banister railings things like that um, just because I, I I really want you guys to take care of yourselves um, so all right here we go again pile number one two and three if you need a bit more time pause the video and we're gonna go ahead and get started pile number one you chose the jade and we'll look at the um, we'll look at the uh, intentions in just a minute I'm sorry I'm so tired we have the Hierophant. The Hierophant is a card of Taurus. It can also be an ex-husband or an ex-friend, uh, ex-teacher, ex-mentor, ex-parent you know, parent even, if you've emancipated yourself and don't talk to them. Something has changed. The Wheel of Fortune generally indicates a change in your favor. So that's good they have possibly changed. The death card says that there has been a massive change here. A major change. The hermit card says they went and figured it out. They went and got the wisdom they needed and talked to the people that they needed to figure out the problem. And the problem was that they were depressed. Or you, you're depressed and they don't know how, how to approach it. In the beginning. The Queen of Wands has you or them sort of cutting that mindset out. The can'ts. I can't. I can't. I can't. You're going to, you're going to cut that out. You're going to start can't. You're going to can yourself. I can. I can do that. Yes, I can. I can do that. Because getting into a more positive mindset really does help. You have four major arcanas here. So this person coming in is going to be someone significant. The way the cards read to me, this is someone from your past that has made some significantly huge changes in their life. They have done the work and gone within and found that inner wisdom. They're, they might be slightly depressed. Um, they're looking for like resolution they're looking for an answer as to maybe why this relationship ended or what they did wrong or how they could do better in the future and um once you give that to them i see like both of you feeling happier so what i have for you uh the other possibility is to who is coming in sorry there's one more is this is an old friend and something has changed 
and where they used to kind of be your light in the dark, they're really, really depressed. And um, you're kind of having to use your intellect, use your wisdom to decide what to do in this situation. How do you get them help? Um, there are a lot of links and, um, you know, chat rooms and websites and such. There are phone numbers you can call. Um, most hospitals, if you call, can kind of help you figure out how to talk to the person, how to deal with um, getting them into treatment. Um, but I, I don't see that as being the major problem because these two cards are minor arcana. These are your only minor arcana. What I see is someone from your past is coming back and they're coming back to apologize. They're coming back to atone. They're coming back to let you know they feel bad about whatever happened between you. And they kind of want to get things figured out and get leveled out. Um, so that someone from your past is coming back and that's, that's why they're coming back. What are their intentions in this? Let's see. We have the Aries card, uh, the Emperor. Their intentions could be to take control of the situation. Or to free themselves from the control. Maybe they've been, this thing has been really bothering them. Whatever they did that hurt you in the past. Um, whatever they, they did that caused them to have to do this change. You know, it, it, it very well has really bothered them. And now they're, once they can kind of finalize this with you, once they can deal with this, this closure, they can kind of be free. Yeah, I see the card of, you know, the sun, the happiness card. We have the king of wands. Excitement, passion, happiness, you know, lust for life, and the world. Um, so what are their intentions for you? Their, their intentions are fully good. Their intentions are to talk this out to take control of their own, you know, to take responsibility for their actions and to free themselves from this pain in the past and make things better between you. They don't like the idea of you guys being in the world and not being okay with each other. And that's what they're coming in to do. Pile number one. So that's cool. It's always nice when you get to, you know, get some stuff figured out, like, it, you know, if it's an ex-boyfriend, why, why, you know, didn't the relationship work? If it's an ex-friend, where, where'd the friendship go south? Um, an old boss, you know, why'd you get fired? Why, you know, what's happening now? Um, so good luck with you, pile number one. Thank you for being here. And um, please, please, please take care of yourselves. And remember, don't panic. Um panicking just stops you from being able to think clearly. So take care of yourselves, wash your hands, clean your surfaces. You'll be fine. I promise. And if you need help, get help. If you, if you can stay at home and quarantine yourself in a, in a way, do so. That's going to be the best option right now. Sending a lot of love and light guys. Take care. Bye. All right. Pile number two. You chose the gypsum rosette. And we have who is coming into your life and what are their intentions. I'm going to put, let me just make sure I got those right side up. There we go. Their intentions right there. We'll find that out in a minute. And let's see who is coming into your life. We have the Four of Wands. Aries Leo Sagittarius, um, someone you probably already have, this could be somebody you already have a relationship or already had some sort of relationship with in the past. The King of Pentacles is of uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, someone solid and dependable. Oh. The Nine of Wands says, this may have been someone that hurt you. You may have been drawn to pile number one because honestly, I'm starting to, this feels very much like the same energy, the same pile. 
but there's recognition here. of happiness. All right, let me just, a relationship, a man, the card of marriage, celebration. All right, all right, here's what I see for you. Who is coming in for you? You're kind of standing right now in a good place financially. You're able to celebrate. You're feeling a little bit wounded and guarded. But someone is coming in and you'll recognize them when they do because they're going to make you happy. And honestly, I think this, this someone is someone that's attracted to you. You have the Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands here. The, the Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands and the Six of Wands tells me this is a relationship that's going to bring happiness. Whether you guys were in a relationship in this lifetime or you were in a relationship in the past life, this is a relationship that's going to bring happiness. This is someone who is solid and dependable. They can provide really well for you and any children you may have or not have or fur children or what have you. Reptile children, bird children, monkey children, I, whatever. Um, they're someone who is able to help they they can get past your walls they can they help you let your guard down so that you can be yourself with people because they recognize how special they you are and they they really are ha they're happy with you when they spend time with you at all when they're even thinking of you when they're even thinking of you they're happy you make them feel happy so who is coming in? Um, someone is coming into your life that is, is going to be a good friend. Someone that you guys are going to have a really good relationship and they're going to make you feel happy. Now, what are their intentions? Why are they making you feel happy? The Nine of Pentacles has them standing uh, like independent on their own, strong financially strong in lots of ways and you get the six of wands here too so recognition on their behalf you guys could be soulmates or soul kin we have the four of pentacles hat that's their intentions are to hold on they see you as just this independent beautiful thing and they recognize that and they want to hold on to you they're going to be honest about it. Because they want to grow something with you. They want to... They want a, a solid future with you. And it's going to be healing. It's going to heal you. It's going to help heal them. It's beautiful. That's a good relationship. And then you've got the... Ten of Wands, which has you putting down a burden. Probably, I'm going to guess, or has them putting down a burden. All right. What are their intentions towards you? They see you as independent and free. They recognize you just like you recognize them. And they want to hold on to that. They're going to be honest with you. They're going to be dependable. They're going to be reliable. They're going to help you heal. And they're going to help you put a stop to bullshit. Like if someone's messing with you, if someone is giving you trouble, they're going to put a stop to it. And I just realized that the card that was left open on my vice versa deck is the six of wands. So we've got the six of wands here, the six of wands here, and the six of wands here. So who's coming into your life? A, a a soulmate. They could be a karmic soulmate. They could be your twin flame. This is someone that you're meant to be with. You're meant to have time with. You're meant to to learn from, to grow from, to hold on to, to listen to. Um, there's someone that can get past your defenses. There's someone that recognizes you and wants to make you happy. There's someone who will fight for you unless you don't want them to. And then they'll step down for you. 
Um, so that is what I see coming in for you, pile number two. Um, that's who's coming in, and that's that's what their intentions are. Uh, let's see if this. Let's see if I see any. If I can think of anything else. Uh, one, there's one more thing. Uh, there's an estranged parent. If you have an estranged parent, a relative that you're like a, a mother or father that you're not really talking to, they're going to come in because they recognize what they did and they want to apologize and they want you to be happy. They've watched you grow and be independent. They recognize what they did. And they've been holding on to this pain for themselves. They've been very cutting to themselves and judgmental of themselves. And they want to grow a solid foundation with you. They want to heal. They want to put this past burden down and apologize and bury the hatchet, as it were. So that that is what I have for you in total, I believe. Pile number two, are, are we right? Because <laughs> this is that it. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry about that. So, thank you very much for taking time out of your day to spend it with me. And I hope you guys have a really beautiful day. And I hope the person coming into your life treats you the wonderful way that you deserve. Thank you. Bye. And here's your stone again. All right. Pile number three. Who is coming into your life? And what are their intentions? These cards show their intentions. I wasn't sure if it was right side up or upside down, so we're going to put those right there and we'll look at them later. Your stone was the onyx. And who is coming into your life? Justice. It could be a Libra coming into your life. It could be a law enforcement officer, a judge, um, someone like that. We have the Nine of Cups, a wish granted. Someone you've been looking for, someone who will balance you. The Strength card says stay strong. Or they could be a Leo. I like Leos. The King of Cups says they're a very loving person. They might over have a tendency to overindulge. The King of Swords there says they're a they're a deep thinker, and that's one of the things that you're going to really like about them. They're very healing. Just being with them feels very healing to you. And there's someone who is solid and dependable. They might be a little bit slow moving. Like if you text them, you can expect to wait at least 10, 15 minutes before the text comes because they got to check their spelling and their grammar and their punctuation their verb usage, make sure the adverb is correct. There's no dangling participles. <laughs> but once that text gets to you, mwah, it's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, so you have Libra, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, Leo, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, um, Libra Gemini Aquarius, Libra Gemini Aquarius. Honestly, though, what I'm kind of seeing here is this person coming in is like, I, I, I know that the, the justice card usually means fair, balanced, things start working in your favor, but I almost see this as like jackpot, right next to the nine of cups, jackpot. You've been strong for a long time. You've been kind of holding on for a long time, wanting someone who's both romantic and intellectual. And um, someone's coming in that's going to heal your heart. And not only are they going to be romantic and intellectual, they're going to be dependable too. Mwah. Gotta love it. I love it. That's good. I want you to have that. I want you to have someone beautiful and dependable and romantic and amazing. Because you deserve it. Because you're beautiful and romantic and wonderful and amazing. And you better believe that. Because I believe it. The cards believe it. This person coming in, he he or she believes it.
or they, I apologize. I'm still working on the gender thing again. I'm a slightly old lady, so I'm uh, still working it. I, I'd never mean to offend. So he, she, them, he, she, they, them. All right. So what are their intentions towards you? We have the queen of pentacles. Their intentions towards you are the same as, you know, we saw here. They want to grow with you. They want to, they want a solid foundation. Their, their intentions are to have a relationship with you. They are going to put in work. They are going to wait and see the, if there's a harvest. You got the king of cups again. Didn't you have that over here in your, who's coming in? Yeah, the king of cups twice. So this could be, could very well be Cancer Scorpio or Pisces coming in for you. Pile number three. We have the Ace of Wands saying that there is an exciting and passionate new beginning coming your way. Their intentions are to give you this passionate, exciting new beginning. The Nine of Cups again, didn't you? Yeah. See, the Nine of Cups twice. So, they want to be a wish granted to you. You're a wish granted to them, and they want to be a wish granted to you. Ten of Pentacles, happiness, joy, the happy family. The person that is coming in for you, their intentions are fully honorable. They're solid and material. They're going to put the work in. The, they do love you. The love is there. The lust is there. The excitement is there. The passion is there. You're a wish granted for them, and they want a happy family. They want to see this whole happy family with you. Whether the family is just the two of you, or the family is the two of you and a dog, or the two of you and kids, and the two of you and a small, reticulated giraffe named Ralphie. I don't know. Hi, Ralphie. Um, but they want that with you. And they're going to come in and tell you. And it looks pretty honorable to me, pile number three. So pay attention to your instincts, though. Just because they want you doesn't mean they should get you. You're a rare beauty. You're a gem. You are an onyx. You're rare, and you're gorgeous, and you're solid, and you're dependable, and you're just absolutely beautiful and breathtaking. And you deserve someone who can see that in you. And that's what I have for you, my gorgeouses. Again, I want to mom you for a second and remind you to wash your hands, clean your surfaces, and take care of yourselves. Don't go out if you don't have to. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Bye. For those sticking around wondering what cards I used... For the intentions of the person coming in, I used the Ghost Tarot by David Corsi. And for the person coming in, what they're like, their personality, I used the Steampunk Tarot by Barbara Moore and Ellie Fell. So thank you very much for taking time out of your day to spend it with me. I hope you guys stay safe, and I hope that um, the next few weeks finds you in good health and very, very happy. Lots of love and light to all. Bye.